What's going on, Clutch Squad? What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Duck. It's your boy Ross. And we are in the Clutch. Hey, there we go. Back at it again. Something's different. Something's different. It's not the moves. What's different? Comment down below if y'all know what's different. Wow. <laughs> <Gotcha>. <laughs> if y'all know what's different, then y'all really been paying attention. First person to get what's different will pin your comment. Mm hmm. But now, nah, man, we're back to y'all boys with another video, man. We got that good old Everything Wrong with Nick Cannon's Pray for Him track now. We did the last track. Yeah. Um, so now we're going to check this one out. And Crip did his thing on the last one. So I know this one's going to be funny. And this is entertaining because, yeah, Nick kind of hung himself on this one. Yeah. So let's see what he's talking about. Yeah. But make sure you like, subscribe, all the good stuff. Follow you boys on Instagram and follow me on the news. Whoa. Let's get into it. Now we gotta pray for you. Marshall. Nick says Eminem's name and a tone from an iconic scene from a movie, The Warriors, as seen in this clip from a taping of Wild and Out. Marshall, come out and play. Side note, the quote is come out to play, not come out and play. And I gotta give a sin for fucking that one up. Warriors, come out to play. Movie, the guy that Nick Cannon is pretending to be, Luther, is the biggest piece of shit. He literally shoots one of the most beloved characters of the entire film, Cyrus, who is trying to bring together all the gangs of New York to fight against the police. He then blames the shooting of Cyrus on another gang, the Warriors, gets the leader of that gang killed, and then throughout the entire film has the rest of the gangs trying to hunt down the Warriors for something that he did. And at the end of the film, everybody finds out that Luther is the one that killed Cyrus anyway. When they asked him, he said he just fucking did it because he could. They end up brutally murdering him, and the Warriors are let go free, so he picked a horrible character to represent here. <laughs> Wait. Nick had a second track first fully prepared before even releasing the first track, but acts like his crew sat around waiting for a response from Eminem, and when they didn't get it, said, fuck it, let's hop back in the booth for some more You're Old and Gun Bars. Also, this sign clearly says no recording the monitors, and the monitor's <clears throat> being recorded right behind Nick, so fuck you. Lord forgive us, I know that it's kind of wrong. Okay. Five brothers this talented to be on one song. Five? I'll let Charlie Hitman and Conceited slide, but Nick didn't even rhyme his opening bar in the last track, and Prince Easy said he needed dead woman's vagina. Oh, <laughs> man, that would you like five minutes away from seven? Old jokes will always get a bell in my butt, but Nick himself is pushing 40 and M just turned 47. If anything, Nick is almost four times closer to being Eminem's age than Eminem being 70. And while we're on the subject of age, Mariah Carey is 49 and turns 50 in March, yet I don't hear anybody talking about this, so can we start calling Nick Cannon a cougar hunter at this point? Stopping the dynamite word to Florida Evans. JJ was the character on Good Times that said dynamite, not Florida Evans. That was his mother. I understand he's trying to make the rhyme scheme work, but it's just incorrect information. Hello, lucky person. You got the number right. Crip knows his info, man. A dynamite! Dynamite. I know his info, man. Shout out to Crip. He actually commented on one of our videos on the YouTube side, too. Yeah, he commented on one of our videos and showed some love. So shout out to you, Crip, bro. For real, for real. Shout out to you, homie. Smooth tip. 21, 21. Part. You're making this oh, wow. money, man, with that avion. I ain't do this first for the fame and the cult. I did this first to say, keep my brother's name out your mouth. This is simply not true. Mm. The amount of people that have dissed Nick Cannon in the past is absolutely unprecedented. Yet, here you all are going at the biggest person. Literally type in Nick Cannon this, and there's probably like 75 of them right now after this entire thing. Mm. Get to writing, Charlie. I've been a star. Your favorite actress want to get sexual. 20 seconds of Hitman doing nothing besides saying very generic things such as this. Oh, you ain't perked up. You sweeter than lemonade, yeah? According to most recipes for lemonade, it is considered a sweet and sour drink because lemons are sour and sweetened by sugar. In fact, if your lemonade is only <laughs> sweet, it means you made it wrong and you should not have made it this far in life. See, you got fully pink and milk, Britney Spears and pink and milk. Hey! One of the cast members forgot their words in the video. Get used to that. Seriously, the amount of time these guys forget their wow. words or say different words when they're supposed to say other words is going to get annoying in this. Don't you got a cash flow? What the fuck you mad for? Hey, one of the cast members forgot their words in the video. Get used to that. <laughs> also, Hitman thinks having money means you can't get mad at anything. Even though Nick Cannon is clearly mad enough to make two diss tracks and he's bragged about his money several times. So sure. track you at a casket. Hey, one of the cast members forgot their words in the video. Get used to that. You at a casket. You mad that you ain't Cannon. <laughs> Oh, that was a belly laugh worth 
worth 10 cents. A guy who literally holds more records than anyone in hip hop history is mad that he's not a guy whose only recognizable song is with a rapist that pisses on underage girls. I definitely attempted to take away some sins because this statement is so outlandish that I feel like Conceited is just fucking with Nick's ego on this, but I can't. Eminem is 11 years sober. I think I said that in the last one as well. I understand that he's trying to do some clever wordplay with the song titles and brain damage and guilty conscience, but it's just not fucking true. It doesn't take pills anymore. Cause you stay up on cannonballs. Oh, that's a hand. You're always hiding the trailer. We know you're a big man. Hey, one of the cast members forgot their words in the video. Get used to that. Hiding the trailer. We know you're a big man. Hey, one of the cast members forgot their words in the video. Get used to that. <laughs> I told you it was gonna get annoying. We're not even to Prince Easy's yet. He fucking forgot his whole damn verse. It's better staying in the booth to get your rhyming out. Honestly, I blame whoever edited this video on all of these scenes being in here of people forgetting their words. I filmed mm -hmm. several music videos where I don't remember every single word that I say, but I take them out. I mean, seriously, that is like editing 101. Throw a slow-mo cinematic in there. Have a wild and out girl flash the camera. Show DJ t rex fucking a turntable. Literally, whatever you do, do not show a rapper not memorizing yes, their yeah. lines and mumbling their lyrics because it looks so amateurs and they are going up against arguably the greatest rapper alive and you can't make these mistakes. Okay, Prince Easy sucks and he basically forgot every single fucking word that he wrote down. So I'm just gonna show you all the times that he missed the word and then I'm gonna put a bell at the end of it instead of saying something in between each time. So I'll just say it right now. <clears throat> That's crazy. Hey, one of the cast members forgot their words in the video. Get used to that. Ain't no back door cause all of my troops are thorough. <laughs> Ain't got no bitch, uh, my new girl. Oh my god, who the hell cares? <laughs> Stick all my homies keep dying, my puke curl. This fuck. God should have sunk him and just let us keep juice world. I'm gonna go ahead and interrupt Prince Easy, not remembering anything he wrote. I know you guys are probably wanting to watch that, but first we gotta add on to the shit stack. But that was totally fucked up and uncalled for. Mm -hmm. Juice's body wasn't even cold by the time this came out, and I basically determined that Prince Easy is a piece of shit. I shouldn't even have to explain how yeah. stupid it was to do this. 100 cents and rest in peace, Juice World. Yeah, Back to business. That way. Fucked more than anything that I've ever fucked before. That way, dude. Oh, brother, this guy shit! <laughs> That's a SpongeBob, bro. Oh, oh that... brother, this <laughs> guy stinks! <laughs> Juice's body wasn't even cold by the time oh, this came geez. out. And I basically determined that Love that, a piece bro. Of shit. I shouldn't even have to explain how stupid it was to do this. Juice World, 100 cents and rest in peace, Juice World. Rest Back to business. I've never fucked more than anything that I've ever fucked before. Nick, my brother, you pissed him that got us up. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Call us some dishes back. Let us handle this motherfucker. What the fuck? Look, I scratch the cereal numb up off the baby lawn. Him ain't seen the ratchet this dirty since his baby mom. Of the 88 words that Prince Easy rapped on the track, he physically only said 19 of them in this video. So coincidentally, he left out 69 words. We're gonna give him 69 cents. <laughs> also, Hitman called a gun a llama in the last track, and now Prince Easy is calling a gun a llama in this track. And to be honest, I've heard a lot of people call guns weird things, but this diss track series is the only time I've ever heard it be called a llama, and they've had two people say it in two different tracks. There's literally a million different things you can call a gun, but you coincidentally call it something that somebody else has called it and it's oddly specific so i'm definitely given a sin for either stealing or no creativity also prince easy clearly hasn't heard kim i think calling her a dirty wretched doesn't even pale into comparison is what eminem's called her i think it said something similar to that in the last video about prince easy man this guy is really limited on what he could talk about all this cocaine out here you want to put your nose in my bitch what is this fixation of eminem's 11 year old drug use like i don't understand why they keep coming back to this? God damn, y'all niggas ain't having to do about that. Fuck out of you, man. Shit, we don't do it, we always do it. Uh, is, is Nick listening to the same thing that everybody else is listening to? Nick, if you are currently watching this, please comment what makes you think that this is, like, a good. Like, why do you think <laughs> this wins That's this true, entire bro, thing? Like, Just let me know. Really is it because you guys too. made back-to-back -back tracks and that Eminem hasn't responded in 24 hours like you've liked? That gotta be it. took you over a year to respond to the warning, and you responded mm -hmm. with I'm a slick Rick. You play fucked up games, win fucked up prizes. Nick thinks that the camera is a mirror, and he's talking to himself, because he know he fucked up. I ain't got to rap on this motherfucker. You know what? 
I'm not gonna lie. Nick Cannon lied, and that's real life sin. You used to be in a position to talk to kids and they listen, now you a politician, you voted for Trump, bitch, admit it. Why the fuck does Nick Cannon rap like this? He was literally just speaking perfectly fine a second ago, and then as soon as he starts to rap, he goes back into this little whisper thing that he did in the first disc. Also, <laughs> does Nick forget Eminem's four and a half minute BET cipher literally shitting all over Donald Trump? But we better give Obama props, cause what we got in office now's a kamikaze that'll probably cause a nuclear holocaust. And why the drama pops and he waits for shit to quiet down he'll just gas his plane up and fly around to the bombing stops also also the only time nick remotely sounds like he knows how to rap he's literally just rapping lyrics from eminem's verse on renegade and changing a handful of words with the exact same flow but now you get your face lifts like an instagram host. i can't find any information anywhere about eminem getting a facelift but i did find this information about mariah carey constantly getting botox injections throughout her marriage with nick cannon just to be the king of the booty loose because look quick delivered Hey, more of Renegade! Also just realized whoever annotated this on Genius sucks at picking out what words are, because he clearly says rude, not world. Maybe your original music that your fans used to cherish. Now you debated, disputed, hated, and viewed in America as a motherfucking drug addict. And never be a legend. Hey! more of Renegade! Also, again with the fixation of the 11 year old drug use, I know you're trying to flip his own lyrics, but you're doing a piss poor job of it. Also, also, he tries to rhyme legend with... I don't even know what. Legend doesn't even come close to rhyming with anything in this section. I would love to hear the raw clip of this part of the music video because I have no fucking idea what Nick Cannon is saying and I'm pretty sure he doesn't know either. Also, no Botox! Because no, Mariah had Botox while you guys are married. Ah, you probably paid for it. Being white means you're a white supremacist. Apparently. Bro, he is ripping this track Like right, that's piece by piece. I don't know what nigga. Okay. There are no boys. Yeah, I've seen, seen a lot. Same fucking sentences, nigga. You ain't no Well, according to you, he is. My number two, Eminem. And then when you just talk about just straight lyricism, yeah, but like, can't rap with him. Like, like, battle for battle, you can't rap with him. Bet you never thought the kill shot would come from the cannon. Oh, Nick Cannon thought the camera was a mirror again. You used to be a renegade. Hey, more renegade. I love how Nick took the time to even layer his own vocals and like change the pitch. This is the best sounding he was the entire time. For that, I won't give you a sin for copying Renegade again. Hey, no idea that Nick Cannon was gonna start wilding out on me. Nick Cannon includes an interview of the one time Eminem spoke about him, even though there's dozens of interviews out there of Nick Cannon basically sucking all over Eminem's junk. <laughs> bro, that's crazy. Oh man. Feel free to follow. Uh, <laughs> Nick yeah. did it to himself, man. He did it to himself, man. He did, but it was it was good for the culture, man. I was just glad to see somebody try to go at him. I mean, unfortunately, it was Nick. <laughs> he said, unfortunately, it was it Nick. It was good entertainment, right? Yeah, it was, Come on, it was, we need, it was, it was we need good to do entertainment, ladies and gentlemen. It's, it's, it's a good way to end off 2019. Yeah, yeah, man, it was Laughing kinda, at Nick Cannon's expense, yeah. bruh. Come on now, it was a getting a little lame, you feel me? So, <laughs> we appreciate the laugh, we appreciate the entertainment that Eminem and, uh, well, yeah, Eminem didn't do that. It's funny because Eminem just he literally did nothing, bro. Beat him by not saying nothing. Yep. He went in there and did a pooty tang type mm -hmm. deal. <laughs> he went in the booth and it was like, <laughs> and then here it is, Nick Cannon, 0 for 2. Yeah, 0 for 2, bro. That's not even cool, man. Mm -hmm. But Papa Doc, the clock. <laughs> you stupid. We appreciate Doc. all the love He's and support. Like trash. On the last video, man. So. I don't want to run. I'm out of here. Yeah, tell these people something they don't know about me. <laughs> you stupid, bro. <laughs> the right. world. Three one three. Free world. Three one three. <laughs> We appreciate all the love and support on last video, man. We had to check this one out. Y'all been telling us to check it out. Crip, keep doing your thing, man. Keep this rocking, homie. Definitely entertaining as hell. You took your time yeah. to do the research and expose every single thing that Nick Cannon, unfortunately, was wrong. And the Black Squad was wrong. This whole diss track was wrong. The free world. <laughs> yeah, that's what we calling them. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Papa Doc in the free world, bro. The free world. That's what them niggas are. Papa He's Doc in the free world. So, but yeah, uh, if y'all like that video, man, you know what to do. Make sure you like the video, subscribe, Charlie, shallow. Follow you boys on Instagram. Um, keep supporting us, man. We got a Patreon, so if you want to support us on the Patreon, the link will be down below. And you can also go to patreon.com slash in the clutch to support us there. I'm a little tired, so I know you see the eyes. Mm -hmm. Oh, what is he doing? He's talking like an Asian. But um, make sure y'all support the podcast, and also make sure y'all support the skits. For sure. The skits, sketches, short videos, whatever you want to call it. Support it, man. We're trying to branch. You feel me? So... We need y'all, you know, but if I'm in the nose, we love you guys, man. Keep on supporting us, man. We out this piece. Peace. Everything lit. Everything lit. The bitch better take a shot. She better not spit. The back will lit. The money we get. They doing the clown shit. But she know that we it. Ooh.